the Intel Skylake i3-6100 with the Haswell i3-4170. The, with the newer architecture, you can expect the better performance for the same clock frequency. The Skylake is basically a 14 nanometer process which brings with it the advantage of working at lower power and that's one thing you will notice when you see that we have a decrease in the power rating from 54 watt to 61 watt so not something substantially but marginally now the base clock frequency is seen uh, for both of these processors 3.7 gigahertz they are dual core processor with the support for the hyper threading so what you essentially would see like a 10 percent or so performance improvement uh, which is the improvement in the in the processor um, tweaking in its architecture from Haswell to Skylake. But you don't get something substantially different or substantially faster. Uh, we do have a better integrated graphics, HP Graphics 530 versus HP Graphics 4400 which is not substantially faster, only a little bit um, better. Now it won't allow you to play games in high end, but that's slightly better for uh, low end and mid end games. We also now have a support for DDR4, that's new thing called Skylake. And you won't get better uh, memory transfer rates, but you do, that it works at lower 1.2 volts compared to 1.5 volt for DDR3 and that gives you a little bit of uh, more power saving. So other than that the three processors are same there is nothing substantially much better in Skylake. It will need a new motherboard they are not compatible in terms of their socket so you need a new motherboard. Uh, that's it uh, what I, I have and the pricing should be the same so in the newer desktop if you are building a new desktop you obviously would like to go for Skylake especially since the Intel has kept the introductory price about the same but there is no substantial need for upgrading there is no substantial improvement performance and therefore there is no need to upgrade it. Looking at the benchmark is, uh, scores to confirm our hypothesis, we have i3-6100 at 5442 versus i3-4170 at 5146 as we expected, it's less than 10% of performance improvement, uh, more like uh, 6 or 7%. So again, there is nothing substantially improved in, in i3-6100 or Skylake. Thanks for taking a look.